Hey, this is Nicole Dudas again with Emerge Fitness, and today I'm going to show you how to make a, a healthy and really fancy looking chicken recipe. So once it's done, it's going to look like you spent a lot of time making it and that it was really complicated and actually it's not too bad. Trust me, I can't cook that well. So the ingredients that you're going to need to pick up from your grocery store. Um, so the first thing you actually want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you can go ahead and get your portobello mushrooms cooking. Now, you just want to get them um, a little cooked. So I'm going to only I'm going to just leave these on for about six minutes, and then I'll pull them off and set them aside. Done uh, cooking your portobello mushrooms. You're going to take your chicken breast and you want to smash them. It's kind of fun until you get about a half inch thickness. Now it's pretty important to to get them pretty thin because you're going to have to roll them up with something in them. So they're pretty hard to handle if they're not thin enough. So I've already done my chicken breast and you wanna season them with a little salt and pepper, which I've also done. After that's done and you've washed your hands, you're gonna take your woo, laughing cow cheese wedges. So I've had these sit out so that they become room temperature, which actually makes them a little bit easier to spread. So we're just gonna open that up and I need to get a knife. Okay, and you'll just spread that across right there like that. Okay, so real easy. So you'll do that to each one of them. After you've done that, take a fresh basil leaf. Very pretty. Put that on there in the middle. Take a roasted red pepper. I actually usually would use more than this, but I ran out and I've got some in the oven right now to use on the rest of them. Um, but you'll put your portobello mushroom in there next, which I had setting aside. Okay, so one, maybe two, depending on how much you could think you can wrap that up. Okay, so now that I've got everything on there. Oh, toothpicks. Oh no, my toothpicks spilled. Okay. So you're gonna need some toothpicks. And you just take it, okay? And you wrap it up nice and tight. So don't, don't uh, worry if it looks pretty messy after it's all cooked up, it's not a problem, okay? So I'll stick my toothpick, toothpicks in there. Now when you actually put these in the oven, you're going to want Okay. So this part's really fun. Um, uh, you're just going to take the chicken breast and you're going to dunk it, all right? And you can see my fingers are a total mess and you just have to be okay with that. So I'm going to throw it in here and then I'm going to, because this is so thick, take my spoon, very messily, and I'm just going to scoop it, put a little bit over it, coat it up, get it ready to go, and then make sure it's covered before I take it out and... Here we go with the fun stuff. It's just gonna get, oh, I lost the mushroom again. It's gonna get plopped on the uh, pan. Just like that. <laughs> that looks terrible. Hmm, okay. So, uh, all right, let me, uh, let me work through the rest of these and then we'll get Because back this down. could actually happen to you, I thought I'd go ahead and include this on the video. So when I've made this recipe in the past, I used the regular yogurt, which was a lot thinner. Um, <laughs> This is very messy in comparison. So what I'm thinking is we're going to add a little bit of water to this. This may or may not turn out. You'll find out by the end of the video. So, all right. So I just gave it a little splash. I'm going to, I feel like I have, uh, I don't know, Play-Doh or clay on my hands, like when I was a little kid. All right. So this is looking pretty thin now. This may or may not have been a good decision. All right, so that looks pretty even now, much thinner. And you'll see the difference of when I put this in now, it's gonna, should coat the whole thing. Yeah, okay, so now that whole thing's coated, and we'll find out how this turns out. So, you can obviously see the difference in the two. Maybe we need a happy medium. Okay, and bam. Okay, so at this point in time, you want to just check over and see if you've got any of your chicken showing. So I'll bring this over here. By this point, the ones you had set down first, 
Oh, goodness. They're probably going to have dripped a little bit. So you can take any of the extra that was coming down and just fill in wherever you feel like you have a little bit of a gap. All right. Okay. So now they're going to go in the oven. So again, we have it at 350. I'm going to toss it in for 20 minutes. Covered with foil is how you'd actually want to do this. And then halfway through, take the foil out and cook it for another 20 to 30 minutes. This is just going straight in uh, since I'm out of foil and we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, so wardrobe change. Sorry, uh, we're on our way out for the evening. So this is going to have to be in a little bit of a rush. But I just wanted to make sure to get this video out to you guys before I headed out for the evening because I promised I would. So this is how they turned out right here. This is one that was a little bit thinner and that's the one that was a little bit thicker. So even though I thought it might be disastrous, turned out okay. So if you can see the inside of this, it looks awesome. Okay, so if you were to eat it just like that, it's only 260 calories, eight grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 39 grams of protein. So that's pretty awesome. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit more calories by adding um, pasta sauce, which is kind of fun. Heat it up, toss it on, you're ready to go. So that is my fancy pants chicken recipe. To, uh, to see the actual recipe and to see that this recipe and more, you can go to www.emergefitnesstraining.com. Uh, thanks for bearing with me on my very first cooking video blog. I hope that I can bring you guys more things soon. And I'll be uh, wanting to cover anything health and fitness related. So healthy recipes, uh, workout tips, motivation. So if you guys would like to see anything, definitely let, definitely let me know. Um, I'll be excited to, to give that to you. So again, this is Nicole Dudas with Emerge Fitness. Thanks for watching.